Hey everyone. I hope that you're doing well. I'm having some food. And uh, I'm probably going to paint my nails at the same time. Well, not exactly at the same time. I'm probably going to alternate so that I can get them both done. And hang out with you for a while. eating one of my very favorite dishes, which is um, rice noodles, and they have been sautéed with, um, well, I'll go through it step by step. First I sautéed ginger and um, garlic in some sesame, toasted sesame oil. And I added some chives that I had. Um, I actually kept them in the freezer from this summer when I uh, picked them. I take a bite. And then I added the chopped vegetables which is just anything you have. I used carrots and baby bok choy um, while I was soaking the rice noodles in water. And then I added the seasonings. is mirin, which is a uh, sweet Japanese cooking wine, and uh, of course soy sauce, and some kind of heat, and you can use, you know, chili flakes or powder or oil. I used, um, a yuzu flavored hot sauce, which is actually from Trader Joe's, and um, it's nice because it it lends a citrus flavor as well as heat. And did I add anything else? I don't think so. I think I kept it pretty simple. And I added the rice noodles, and I just stirred it around and it cooks really quickly. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, I'm sorry, there's cat hair on here. Like, there's cat hair on everything. Oh, let me show you what this polish is. It's by Zoya and it's um, one of their old holographic polishes. It's called Merida. M-E-R-I-D-A It's just a perfect deep forest green for this time of year. I'm filming this uh, in late December. Their polishes, of course, are vegan and cruelty-free and they're relatively low in toxicity. Um, and they're a nice quality. So, I enjoy them. I have quite a few of them. So busy. I really haven't painted my nails in like weeks. So it feels good to have the space to do this again. My 
work is starting to wind down for the year. I have vacation time coming, which I'm very, very, very happy about. It's a little messy. Unfortunately, there's some super cold weather coming in the United States in the next couple of days. And there are all kinds of warnings for people that live in certain areas. If anyone who's watching this lives in one of those areas, my heart goes out to you. It sounds like it's going to be miserable and dangerous. going to try to stay inside as much as possible. to change up my exercise so I decided to start a um, training to 5k running program I decided to start that in December in New York City it seemed like a good idea at the time <laughs> the weather has been very challenging If it's below 40, I just don't go. It just hurts too much to breathe. I've tried running with the mask on. I've tried holding the scarf over my face. <laughs> if anyone has any tips for cold weather running, I would really appreciate it. It's not, I mean, I'm not a serious runner, so if I don't stick exactly to the program, that's okay. I am enjoying it when I do get to go. Each week you do a little bit more running. So I think um, this week my intervals go up to five minutes of running. Which does not sound like a lot if you are a runner, but I've always found it very challenging. Not sure why, because I'm pretty athletic. But, uh, I hope that I can get to a point where I can run pretty continuously for like, well, I mean, the goal is 30 minutes, but I'd be happy with just 15. one coat. If 
find winter really challenging in general. I am recording this on the solstice. I love the solstice because obviously that means the days are going to get longer. I don't really, I don't celebrate the solstice. Um, but today they did, I happened to be listening to National Public Radio at the time of the solstice, which was 4.48 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, they did like mark when it happened. And I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, and just took a moment to reflect on it. It's the one holiday where I really feel connected to our ancestors because the you know this all the the solstice the equinoxes etc were very important to them but this one knowing that it's the longest night of the year and that from now on there'll just be more and more daylight. That must just have been such a celebration for them. Such a hopeful time. There's one thing that we are in need of right now. It's hope. I was just listening to Vladimir Zelensky address the US Congress. Gave the speech entirely in English. trying to do your nails is not the best idea. I've already messed one up. Let's see if I can save it. So, we're coming into the new year, and I definitely don't do resolutions, but I heard today on NPR, again, I was listening to NPR obviously, 
They were talking about a practice of, um, you know, the gratitude practice where you think of things you're grateful for, and it's a, well, it's a tool for dealing with depression, actually. Um, and I guess for some people it's a spiritual practice. This is similar in that you reflect on the last year and you think about what you accomplished. And the idea is that we tend to focus on like what we didn't do or what we haven't yet done. And we sort of don't give ourselves credit for that which we have done. Um, and I like that idea. Um, it seems like things that I'm happy about or proud of, uh, I definitely kind of let them go. And I like the idea of uh, just taking stock and maybe giving yourself a pat on the back before you say goodbye to the year and move on to the next one. And I think you can also include in that, I will include in that, victories that were not mine personally, but that I'm happy about, and maybe that were collectively achieved. Like, there was some legislation recently passed here in New York that some friends of mine worked really hard on and I never thought this legislation would get passed um, because of the business interests that opposed it. It bans the sale of puppies, dogs, I think cats and kittens as well, and pet stores because um, a lot of the animals that are sold there come from these breeding mills that are just terrible, terrible places um, that result in unhealthy animals, not to mention just like miserable, abusive conditions. Um, so uh, it'll be, I forget when it's going to be implemented. I think 2024, um, but that is going to have a tremendous impact on the welfare of animals in my state. And so that's the sort of thing, like when it happens, you know, you have a moment of, of uh, happiness, pride, satisfaction, whatever, but typically you don't like come back to that so I'm just gonna kind of take stock of good things that happened this past year uh, whether I did them or whether someone else did them and uh, hopefully that'll set me up with again coming back to this notion of hope some hope for the year to come. I'm curious as to what practices you might have for this time of year, for the new year. If 
you into resolutions? Or how do you celebrate the new year? Do you celebrate it? A lot of people celebrate New Year's at different times of year. Lunar New Year's. It's not one of my favorite holidays because in New York, honestly, a lot of people get very drunk and I don't enjoy being outside in crowds with a ton of people that are drunk. Maybe, now that marijuana is legal here, we'll have more people that are high than drunk, which is better, way better. They don't fight, they don't vomit. on the top coat and I'll be done with the meal and the many. We do have good fireworks here at New Year's. I'm going to try to catch some of those. And of course, even if I don't go out to catch the fireworks, I will be serenaded by them in my apartment. Uh, because a lot of people just do them at home. That's okay, it's not as bad as July 4th. have in um, Prospect Park where they have fireworks at midnight. They also have a run. These crazy people do a run. <laughs> I think it's a 5k run at like 11 o'clock at night or 11.30 or something. What is those are some brave people. It's always freezing. Um, that's, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. I've done a 
fairly decent job with the nails. Not too shabby. I've had a lovely meal. And I've gotten to natter away with you guys for a while. I really hope that you have a very happy and healthy holiday season. And that the new year will bring peace and equity and good things for all of us. Take care. Bye.